Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's a, it's a good day. It's a good start to the week because it's the last roof clean of the year for me, uh, which I'm really excited about. Typically, it's one of the biggest ones of the year as well, um, but oh well. Right, I'll uh, show you around this job. There's a lot to do on this one. Uh, this is a roof clean and treatment, uh, full gutter and fascia, soffits cleaned, windows cleaned, um, and then finally uh, a driveway and a patio clean. Uh, so I'll sort of take you around the back, I might be able to see the shape of the house a bit better there. Right then, so there's the uh, one of the back triangles of the house. Oh, I think it's conservative roof on this as well. Uh, so yeah, a lot to do. Um, so yeah, there's the back triangle, there's not actually that much on that, so that's probably just going to be a biocide job. There's not much really to scrape on that bit, which is um, which is good, helps me out a bit. Uh, what else have we got? Uh, not really able to see from here, but there's a triangle on the right side of the house and then also on the left um, and there's two lower sort of garage roof porch type roofs at the front um, so yeah there's a lot of scraping access is a little bit dodgy here um, that's just gonna have to be ladders from next door up to the gutter line uh, this is the patio um, yeah it's it's pretty filthy I'm not even sure how this is gonna look when it's clean to be honest uh, no idea what the original colours are in this because uh, yeah it's really really dirty um, so I've got some hypo um, on order uh, which should be coming today uh, which I'll be using on that uh, I'm not sure she wants this side passage done or not um, but it's quite massive so I'll probably just blast it anyway uh, but I'll be doing all the pressure washing probably in about two days time because this I'm predicting this roof and the gutters are going to take me two days um, yeah and then I'll be able to do all this in a day so there's the driveway as well so um yeah this needs to be resundered as well so yeah quite a job and uh there's the lower down roofs as well as you can see there they're pretty pretty bad right i've already scraped a bit of this but i'll uh, i'll get started and um yeah i'll talk some more in detail uh about this job uh when i get round and you can actually see the other sides of it all right i'll see you in a bit
Right then folks, so us that one, two, three sides done and the uh, lower part as well. And now I'm on to the final part. Uh, this is the awkward part of the job. I should have started here really, but oh well. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm working with. Narrow gap, limited space, um, but I'm backed up against that wall and pushed away from the from the gutter line there. So to be honest, I'm as safe as houses is really. So uh, yeah, I'll get this started. I should be done. I think I've been going about two and a half hours now, which is a really, really good timing, maybe three hours. Um, so I should be done that side in an hour, um, which will bring me to about half two. And then I think I will do all of the gutter fascia and soffit cleaning and then biocide the roof because I don't really want to spray the biocide on and then be standing right under it, spraying water and cleaning the, uh, the fascias because I don't want anything dripping down on me. So yeah, I'll uh, do the soft washing last. Obviously get this conservatory roof done as well, which is filthy. And then, uh, yeah, maybe tomorrow actually I could probably start the power washing, which would be nice. Uh, yeah, wicked, I'll crack on. All right, folks, just bring you back there. I'm not really gonna be able to film any of the back. I've just started over there. Um, it's uh, it's too hard for me to film, basically. There's nowhere for me to uh, set my camera up. But um, yeah, I just thought I'd say, just for anyone that's new here, uh, the tool I'm using, let me get it in shot. This is the Freeman's Flexi Scraper uh, with a universal thread adapter on it that goes onto my 25 foot facelift Renegade pole. Um, yeah, for anyone that's wondering what I've been using. Um, yeah, so this specific tool, it comes, you can change the, uh, the blade on the front to fit basically any tile that exists. Um, there's a whole set that you can buy. I think it's about 280 odd quid maybe, maybe a bit less, I'm not sure. Um, or you can just get a starter kit and choose the, choose like one blade that you want with it. Uh, shout out to Steve who makes these, he actually sent me a free uh, flat blade with my last order, um, which is the one I'm using now. And uh, this has lasted me three jobs so far and it's uh, still going strong really to be honest. Um, I'll probably change it over for the next job, but these blades individually, they're I think they're about 15 quid at most. Uh, so when you're doing a job that's, you know, 700 pound plus, a grand plus in some cases, spending uh, 15 quid a pop for a nice fresh blade. Uh, yeah, well worth it. Right, cheers, I'll uh, just finish this side now and then I'm, uh, then I'm all done. Nice one. All right then everyone, exactly half two as predicted. Uh, that roof is completely scraped, everything's completely scraped and tidied up, uh, which is great. There's still a lot of uh, algae um, and, uh, and lichen on that side, um, but it's to be expected. Uh, that's what the chemical is going to take care of. Uh, but the moss is all gone, which is good. Now let's just have a look. So all this, this will come up really nice, but again, no moss left on it. And then round to the final side. There we are, looking good. I mean, it's already a huge difference compared to what it was. Uh, I'll try and put in some pictures to remind you. Uh, yeah, so what I'm gonna do now is uh, do the um, gutter in soffits and fascias. So everything white and black that you see, that's gonna get clean now. Um, so yeah, as I say, half two, so I've got about two hours, two and a half hours till it gets a bit too dark to work. So hopefully I can uh, smash out most of this, or if not all of it in that time. And uh, yeah, then I'll probably end up soft washing the roof tomorrow and then going straight into the uh, pressure washing. So, right then, sorted. I'll, uh, I'll see you in a bit.
Right then folks, that's the roof, the gutters, conservatory roof, um, fascias, everything all done, uh, which is good news. I'm uh, pretty knackered to be honest. It's about 12 o'clock on day two. Uh, I don't think I did an intro um, for today. I just wanted to get cracking. Um, but yeah, yeah, everything's looking uh, really, really nice. I uh, decided to brush in the biocide this time. Um, I never usually do, I usually just spray it on. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd give it a shot. They're nice tiles to do, so yeah, give it a quick brush in. I must say I'm quite impressed actually. It, um, it foamed up really, really nicely and uh, tended to stay on the roof for a lot longer as well. So um, yeah, I think I'll be brushing from now on in future. It uh, worked out quite well. And uh, so yeah, I'll uh, kind of end the video there. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I've still got this patio and the driveway around the front to do, but I'm probably gonna put that in a different video to be honest. Otherwise this would be like an hour long, so. Yeah, cheers for watching. I'll try and pop in some after pictures at the end if I've if I've got any. Uh, yeah, and I'll uh, catch you next time. This is the last roof of the year. Brilliant.